Well, the U.S. economy had seen better days, but things were actually looking pretty good the last couple of weeks. Uh, if you take charge, that could mean some pretty big savings this year, too, especially with your mortgage. Freddie Mac says average rates on 30-year fixed mortgages now 3.91 percent. That is a record low set just weeks ago. Still, that's doing little to boost the housing market. You know, it's really struggling to come back. And in today's Take Charge Consumer Protection segment, we wanted to take a look at how you can take advantage and why this may be the time for you to do that. Real estate and business attorney, Sherry Olofsson, joining us now. Great to see you, Sherry. Thanks for being back with us. Oh, and thanks for having me. The, the folks that I'm the most concerned about, because if you can afford to buy a house right now, you'll probably be able to figure out how to get the mortgage at this rate. But the people who are sitting with a house right now that is worth less than the amount they owe, is this a time, is there a method for them to benefit or take advantage right now? Definitely. And number one reason, Jamie, you just cited is because the rates are at all time lows. But the other reason is because the government has been tweaking some of the programs that they're making available for people. You'll remember back in 2009, the government came out with making home affordable and the modification program was the big push. Well, now the big push will be the refinance program under making home affordable. And they've they've basically made changes to overcome the obstacles. So you don't have to be only 125 percent underwater. You can be further underwater than that. Your credit score is not as much of an issue. The documentation isn't much of an issue. That's good. Those programs will, yeah, they'll really roll out in February and March when the software comes online. Okay, so search the internet to find those government programs. Here's my question. When I was a mortgage broker, one of the things that I did, even when the rates were high, 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 is I recommended to people if they couldn't qualify for a whole mortgage, like 80 or 90 percent, maybe you refinance or you get a mortgage for part of it. Um, to be creative in terms of the amount of a mortgage, is there a benefit to maybe not refinancing 100% right now? That's an option. And for folks who can pay down some of their mortgage, obviously they have a lot more flexibility. The only problem with that now is that the HELOC rates, although they've come down, are still relatively high because so many of them, so many of those lenders have taken losses because so Th many those of those are home lenders equity default. lines. I just because the you home use, equity yeah. lines of credit. Yes, okay. the home equity lines of credit. And really only the big banks are offering those. So in that case, folks may be better off just getting and, you know, a conventional second mortgage as opposed to a home equity line of credit. The other problem with those home equity lines of credit, Jamie, is that most of them contain provisions that allow the lenders to freeze them altogether or to revoke them. And a lot of people got caught with their pants down when their home values went down right. and all of a sudden their home equity lines of credit got locked. What's your number one tip for someone that wants to take advantage of these low rates right now? What should you keep in mind? How do you find the best really deal out there? Is it a bank? Is it some other financial institution? Where do you go? What do you do? Right. Well, you know as a former mortgage broker that the, you have to shop three different rates. You have to go to three different places. People are looking at the rates. They're looking at the costs. But you also need to look at the other terms. If you've only got five or ten years left on a 20 or 30 year mortgage, you may not want to start that amortization period all over again. And the lenders now have a lot of loans that will allow you to basically re-amortize or readjust the rate on the remaining balance of your ah. loan so that you don't have to s extend for another 20 or 30 years. That's something folks really should do because one thing we learned is we want to get those loans paid off. That is a great tip. So ask for the amortization schedule. Make sure you're not ending up paying so much more because you're going over 30 years. See if you can tighten it up to the amount of time you have left on your loan. Exactly. I like it, Sherry. Exactly. Thank you so much. So lowest rates and we've seen in a while, folks. Hope you can take advantage. Good to see you. You know, you can get more of our Take Charge tips on a number of consumer issues. All you have to do is go to foxnews.com and click on the America's News Headquarters page. You'll see it at the bottom of the main page. And you'll see a link to many of this program's Take Charge consumer protection segments. Such, such good and vital information. Thanks, Jamie.